Paris Racing Team dan Rimau Racing Team dari SMK Section 9 Shah Alam Selangor telah membangunkan model kereta Formula One dan mereka membanggakan Malaysia kerana berjaya mewakili Malaysia dalam F1 in School Virtual World Finals pada Jun ini di London. Jadi kita nak tahulah apa kata mereka dan apa itu F1 in School. Bersama saya lah Erina, wakil dari lima sepasukan Keris Racing Team dan juga Adam, ya, wakil daripada enam sepasukan Rimau Racing Team yang akan terangkan apa itu F1 in School. Sebenarnya F1 in School itu merupakan pertandingan yang berasaskan STEM iaitu Sains, Teknologi, Kejuteraan dan Matematik di mana tiga ke sembilan uh, pelajar Kumpulan pelajar bertanding untuk mereka bentuk dan menghasilkan sebuah prototip mini kereta F1 in schools yang uh, akan dilumbakan di litar sepanjang 20 meter uh, yang dilancarkan oleh sebuah cartridge CO2. Wow, fantastic. Masa dulu kakak Sharon tak belajar semua ni. Kemahiran hidup ada. Masa sekolah menengah 90-an lah kan. Mungkin Adam nak tambah sikit tentang F1 in schools ni? Um, bagi tahun ni punya F1 in schools, kami sebenarnya akan buatnya secara online, secara di alam maya saja. So semua benda yang kami hasilkan pada tahun ini akan di ship ke United Kingdom dan akan di di sana di mana kami akan lihat dari online live stream sahaja. Bagaimana dengan peranan setiap ahli pasukan? So dari segi kejuruteraan, kami ada dua role iaitu the manufacturing engineer dan juga the design engineer. Uh, tugas uh, design engineer ni adalah lebih kepada uh, mengambil konsep-konsep unsur-unsur alam dan mengambil idea dia sendiri untuk mereka bentuk dan apply kepada kereta yang dia akan menghasilkan guna CAD dan CAM software dan dia akan bekerjasama rapat bersama dengan manufacturing engineer yang akan memilih bahan-bahan yang sesuai yang dari segi mereka apply physical concepts iaitu dari segi Bernoulli, dari segi force punya equation dan semua tu mereka bekerjasama untuk menghasilkan kereta dan selain tu dapat juga social media manager social media manager bertugas dia untuk mengekalkan quality dan assurekan semua benda yang di post di social media adalah fakta yang tepat dan persembahan dia cantiklah ada I'm sure there are more kan? Yes, actually. First of all, we have the graphic designer or pereka grafik yang actually bekerja bersama dengan media manager untuk uh, peranan dia sangat penting ya dalam team ini untuk uh, display the team's identity to our general audience uh, and our uh, future sponsors and supporters yes. and dia akan uh, tunjuklah another aspect of the team to uh, our fans and supporters. Mm, uh, besides that, kita orang juga ada pengurus uh, sumber kami or the resource manager who actually is in charge of all of our PR relations with companies and they play a big big role in getting the funds for this competition. As you know, competition ini is very prestigious and with prestige it also costs a lot. Our role is actually to keep everything uh, uh, keep everything going, make sure everything is running uh, and ensure that everything gets done on time and make sure uh, we can uh, help our team prepare the best for the World Finals. I really, really like it. You are ready to work actually. Amat penting ni kerjasama dalam satu team dan saya melihat pendedahan positif ni kepada para pelajar masih muda but then they are very competitive and ready for the world market. Jadi Arina tunjukkan sikit ataupun terangkan how do you build it? <laughs> so it all starts with benchmarking. I'm sure that's the first part, uh, first task for in every project where we do research and compare and contrast our team to uh, the past teams and see how we can improve further on in this world finals. So like in my hands here I have a few um, a few elements of the car. Can I hold it? Yeah, of course. Apa material ni yang so anda this makan? is actually using nylon where we will uh, actually 3D print it. So this is a, 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 one, a one way to 3D print. Uh, another way is using uh, ABS. Fantastic. So All the we... jargons, right? I need to study and learn from you guys. <laughs> it's alright. Right. Cool. Okay. It took time for me to study it too. Uh, so here, uh, it actually all starts with 
on a piece of paper actually, uh, here is a few design concepts. It's a really rough idea. Please, uh, <laughs> this is not our most professional. This, this is very nice. I can draw <laughs> tapi... Oh, tak apalah, jangan baik. Malu, jangan cakap. This is very good already. So, how, macam, macam, bagaimana anda design guna sistem apa, software apa? So, so, we use a few softwares actually. We use a few to design and we use a few to analyze. So, the main one we use is actually Autodesk Inventor for designing the car. And for analyzing, we use SOLIDWORKS, DDS SOLIDWORKS. So for that's for designing. So for analyzing, as you can see behind us now, there's a bit of analysis that our team is conducting on our newest project car. So uh, as you can see, we have to have a very strong understanding of airflow and fluid dynamics in order to ensure the quality of our final car when it races or zooms past you at over like 60 kilometers per hour. So yeah, that is the function of analyzing. Yep. Besides that, we all, after analyzing and doing our tests and everything, we move on to the final phase, which is manufacturing. Manufacturing is the process of using other softwares as well, like we use a CNC machine to actually cut this model block, this F1 model block, and turn it into a rough, a rough idea, actually. Mm. And then after we've finished and sanded everything down, it'll roughly look something like this, which Fantastic. is our final car. So as you can see, after Kidaranga what all the process that goes into the car, this is the finished product. Uh, this is actually our national car untuk tahun lepas yang menang. Uh, then, uh, memang ada banyak criteria yang goes into the car dari segi the designs dan dia punya uh, apa bahan-bahan yang kita guna, the materials yang kita guna and the also the engineering aspects and the science that goes behind the car as well. This year is very and completely different than previous years because it's going to be held online. This is the first ever F1 in schools virtual world finals that we've ever done. So this year is going to be a bit weird but the process goes as so. We, uh, when we have manufactured the car, and we finished everything, we have to send it to the F1 in schools PIHA in the UK and then they will open it up, they will see if there's any imperfection, if there's anything damaged while in transit and then they maintain the quality and the assurance uh, in the car. When everything is settled, uh, on the, if I'm not mistaken, on the first week of June, they will send uh, all the cars to one place in, the, in London, United Kingdom for them to be evaluated in terms of um, the aspects and criteria based on the rules and regulations of F1 in schools where we take into account every single aspect so the length of the car, the, the thickness and almost everything. So finally on race day actually it's going to be powered by CO2 cartridges that is going to be pierced at the back of that car actually. So it will all be done um, from computers actually. They're, usually we have um, processes where we uh, maintain using our own hands but this year because it's virtual right we we can't actually participate in that regard we only have to let the computers do their work and we just hope for the best yeah fantastic so um, sebenarnya STEM science technology engineering dan juga mathematics uh, memberi pendedahan membuka minda kepada pelajar-pelajar Malaysia bila-bila negara untuk lebih kompetitif uh, kemungkinan dalam pekerjaan satu hari nanti dan um, jadi yang terbaik di dunia. Jadi kepada anda jangan ke mana-mana. Banyak lagi yang kita nak tahu tentang uh, F1 in schools ini dan juga pendidikan yang berteraskan teknologi semuanya selepas ini. <tik>